Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and this is video 2 in Luminar AI. Um, I'm going to edit this photo which I was taking um, while I was away for a few days this summer. In all British weather, as you can tell, uh, it's a Humber Bridge. Now I'm going to use templates, but the main thing I'm going to use basically is Atmosphere AI. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of fog or mist or whatever you want to call it along the riverbank. Um, but first I'm going to play around with the template. Now I've already had a quick look and what I want to do is I'm going to go into sunsets and then I'm going to go into that. And you'll see why in a minute. Now this has changed the total sky as you can see. It's changed the colour of this. We'll have a look before and after. Like I said to you, this is the, the beauty of templates as such. But it's not this where I want to talk about. So what do we do? Go into edits and for now I'm not going to touch anything in here. I'm not. All I'm going to do is go into atmosphere. And I think I'm going to play around with the layer fog. Let's have a look. Depth. Let's bring it in a little bit, and as you can see, it just started to bring the fog into there. Now I'm going to push the amount all the way up, so I can see what I'm doing more than anything else. <clears throat> because as you know, looking through fog, uh, things that are far away seem really hazy, or more hazy. So the likes of the bridge here, it wouldn't be like that. So what I'm going to do, is if you go up to this, little button here and then you've got the mask tools that you need so I'm going to sorry erase <coughs> and I'm going to drop this all the way down and all I'm going to do is erase over the bridge now you'll see the effect in a second when I take the finger off and straight away it's kept it here, it's kept it above, but it's no longer on the bridge itself. And that's what we're going for. I mean, you can get it as precise as you want to this, you can zoom in. The zoom button is now up here. So if we go to 600, press your space button. So your space button will help you move around. We are on 600, so... And then you can just go over the top of it. Hi guys, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. And all that jazz, you won't believe how much it helps the channel. Thanks again. Let's get back to the video. Right, if I take the opacity all the way up to 100... Radius will leave like that, and then basically that will take it all off. Well, I don't think that's too bad. You can tell that it's, I've stopped there and I haven't done this properly, but I will do it. So I've gone all the way to the side now, as you can see. <clears throat> but that shot, that stops too, too much there. So we're going to zoom in. And we're just over 400 times. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this up. I might zoom in even more. Not less, sorry. To take it to 100. And all I'm going to do, and it might seem a bit radical, but you'll see why. In a second, all I'm going to do is that. Yeah, so if we now go into the paint, drop this down, 
rough the softness down so we have a hard side brush now and we're just going to paint this back in So there's the image and as you can see all this is now all feathered and as you can see it's feathered there and that's what I was after. Now in the, in the other image without this sky being here I put lightning in it but I don't think the lightning's going to work in this because it's not there. But what I might do is I might put a sun ray across. Just, just, well why not? <laughs> why not? <clears throat> so that's the effect of basically all I've done there is that the atmosphere layered fog depth um, I mean if you move the depth it'll come towards you as you can tell but nothing, nothing like this changes but that's up to you lightness if you drop the lightness down so you just want it so it's there but people know it's there and then the amount drop the amount down see that's that's looking a lot better now I've dropped the amount down you know it's there you can see it's there but your eye sort of looks at it and thinks yeah well it's it's not there so it, it must be you know what I mean it must be in front of this but behind that if you understand and that's basically what I was going for so we've done that take that off and I'm just going to see what a sun ray looks like so place sun ray and I'm going to place the sun ray just about there because that's about where the sun is right I'm going to push this all the way up so I can see it properly overall look sun ray length well I'm going to lengthen it because I might just keep that one penetration I'm going to drop that down a tad sun settings doesn't matter because it's off the screen ray settings number of rays again you can play around so the match about I quite like that about there about there if you want to randomise it you can And we're just having a play anyway. Again, these 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 were already in Luminar. The nothing. I'm just playing to see what we can do. See if we can make this. I quite like that. So I'm going to place that there. Warmth. I'm just going to warm the sun rays up so it's very similar to this colour here. This is the before and after, so that's the before and that's the after. And that's just me generally playing around. I've not done this before on here. Um, atmosphere, I think, is a good one to put in. I mean, if you turn it off, it just doesn't look anything. Turn it on, I think it brings something to the image. 
So there you go guys, just adding a little bit of mist and a sunbeam or sunray or whatever you want to call it changes that image to that which is quite a lot really <laughs> which isn't too bad if you did it in layers in photoshop or something i don't know how long it'd take you to do me personally it'd take me probably about 40 years but there you go guys so that's another one in the bag i hope you've liked it don't forget to like share and subscribe be more edits on the way and we'll be diving deeper into some of the other things that Luminar have added to uh, Luminar AI. Uh, thanks for watching and see you again. Bye now.